On October 15, 2024, the U.S. Army announced the awarding of five contracts to companies for the upcoming performance demonstration of self-propelled howitzer modernization SBHM. These contracts, valued at approximately $4 million in total, were granted under other transaction agreements OTAs, to American Rainmetal Vehicles, BAE Systems Bofors, Hanwha Defense USA, General Dynamics Land Systems, and Elbit Systems USA. The performance demonstrations are slated to begin in November 2024 and are a critical part of the Army's strategy to improve the capabilities of its self-propelled artillery systems. The SBHM initiative, previously known as the Extended Range Cannon Artillery, ERCA, aims to enhance howitzer lethality through advancements in range, rate of fire, mobility, and overall survivability. The Army's goal is to modernize self-propelled howitzers by integrating mature technologies that improve mobility, firepower, and the efficiency of artillery systems on the battlefield. The ERCA program, which originally focused on developing a 58 caliber cannon, was brought to an end in October 2023 due to the need for further development and redesign. Major General Glenn Dean, Program Executive Officer for Ground Combat Systems, emphasized that the Army had shifted its focus from rapid prototyping to exploring both U.S. and international industrial solutions that are already proven and available. The performance demonstrations planned for later this year will serve as the basis for evaluating which systems may move forward into the competitive evaluation phase, potentially leading to future production contracts. These demonstrations will be crucial in determining the best self-propelled howitzer system for the Army's needs. According to General Dean, the Army intends to identify operationally suitable solutions by the end of 2024, which would allow for a swift transition from development to procurement. At present, the U.S. Army relies on a variety of howitzers to meet its operational demands. Among the most prominent is the M109A7 Paladin, a 155mm self-propelled howitzer that offers significant mobility and precision, especially when paired with Excalibur-guided munitions. Additionally, the M777 is a lightweight, towed 155mm howitzer that can be transported by helicopter, while the M119A3 serves close-range support needs in rugged terrain. Though increasingly phased out, the 155mm M198 remains a dependable asset in reserve units. Together, these systems provide a comprehensive range of capabilities in terms of firepower, mobility, and operational flexibility. Several of the contractors awarded the performance demonstration contracts offer solutions that align well with the U.S. Army's modernization goals, each bringing unique advantages. The K-9 Thunder, in its K-9A1 and K-9A2 versions, is a highly effective 155mm-52 self-propelled howitzer that has been successfully deployed by forces in countries such as Poland, Australia, and Egypt. Known for its firepower and mobility, the K-9 Thunder offers a maximum range of 40 km using rocket-assisted projectiles and a rapid rate of fire of 6 rounds per minute. Its automatic loader and efficient barrel locking system during transit enhance operational safety and efficiency. The K-9 Thunder's 1,000-horsepower MTU engine and Allison transmission provide excellent mobility, allowing the howitzer to reach speeds of up to 67 km per hour and cover distances of 360 km. The system's advanced protection features, including welded steel armor and CBRN protection, make it a robust solution for modern military operations. Notably, the K-9A2 version includes automation features that reduce crew dependency, making it an ideal candidate for the U.S. Army's requirements. The Archer system, mounted on a Volvo A30E6 by 6 truck chassis, is designed for rapid deployment and enhanced mobility. This 155mm-52 self-propelled howitzer can reach up to 60 km with Excalibur-guided munitions and boasts a fully automated loading system, enabling the system to fire 21 rounds in just 2.5 minutes. The Archer's armored cab provides protection for the crew, complying with Stanag 4569 standards, though it may face limitations in rugged terrain compared to track systems like the K-9 Thunder. Despite these limitations, the Archer is a highly mobile and precise artillery system, with a maximum speed of 70 km per hour and a range of 500 km. Its ability to rapidly deploy and engage targets makes it a suitable option for missions requiring speed and precision. The RCH-155, mounted on the boxer platform, combines high mobility and advanced protection with a 155mm-L52 cannon. The boxer's modular design and automatic turret offer great versatility, while the system's rate of fire of 9 rounds per minute ensures rapid strikes. 
The AMAP armor provides protection against 14.5mm rounds and 10kg mines, enhancing the safety of the crew in combat situations. The RCH-155's top speed of 100 km per hour and a range of 700 km make it highly effective for long-range operations. With MRSI capability and the flexibility offered by the Boxer chassis, the RCH-155 is a promising contender in the SBHM program, particularly for missions demanding both speed and firepower. The Atmos 2000 is a highly mobile artillery system mounted on a Tatra 6x6 or 8x8 truck chassis. With a range of up to 41 kilometers and a rate of fire of 8 rounds per minute, it is designed for rapid deployment and precision strikes. The Atmos is less armored than tracked systems but provides excellent firepower and mobility for operations requiring flexibility and rapid maneuvering. Its semi-automatic loading system and compatibility with NATO ammunition make it a versatile solution for various artillery needs. Among the systems presented, the K9A2 from Hanwha Defense USA stands out as the most versatile and suitable option for U.S. Army modernization goals. Its proven effectiveness, extended range, high rate of fire, and modern technology make it a strong candidate for the SBHM program. The U.S. Army's approach to leveraging mature, available technologies in its performance demonstrations reflects a commitment to minimizing risks and costs while rapidly addressing its self-propelled howitzer modernization needs. By evaluating these systems, the Army hopes to identify a suitable solution to move quickly into production and deployment, ensuring that its artillery capabilities remain at the cutting edge to meet both current and future military challenges.